Can you hear that? It's water. Coming from that. Coming from that. Thank you. That's the well down there, about 300 feet, is a three-quarter horsepower, 240 volt AC pump. Uh, pumps up to there. Pipes over there. And then uh, beyond her, the water tank household is on the other side of that hill. Hence why we can't power this pump with electricity that's way over there. Uh, we've got 620 watt solar panels uh, mounted on Unistart racks and S5. You see that? S5 quarter bracket brackets. They have it all tied together. Here is the heart of the system. There's the wires coming in from the solar panels, uh, breaker charge controller 40 amp 150 volt so 150 volt from the uh, solar panels 40 amp to the three AGM batteries 12 volt we've got the inverter this is a 240 volt 5 kilowatt continuous 10 kilowatt surge modified sine wave inverter that's important. That's the only reason this is not a several thousand dollar inverter is because it's modified sine wave. It only throws off 240 volt single phase, not split phase. You cannot pull a 120 volt line off of this. So it's really only useful for things like pumps, which is all we want it to do. So that actually works out. Uh, and then we have a digital timer here. So currently I have it set to pump uh, two half hour sessions a day. Uh, I can modify it however I want, whatever day of the week I want. And then there's the plug. It goes off to the pump. So I was 11 when we had this well dug, all right? And since 1998, every ounce of water we've used on this land has been pumped out of the ground, powered by a gasoline generator. All right. The house is far enough away from the well that it didn't make any sense to uh, you know, run, run electricity over there, just too far. Um, and so it was always kind of on the list of projects to do to solarize the well, just never got around to it. Right. Well, when I got back from Europe in September, I was like, right. First thing I'm doing is I'm solarizing that. So what's in the hole is a three quarter horsepower, 240 volt, uh, AC pump. It's about 300 foot down on the end of one inch galvanized steel piping. So here's the thing, the default solution for solarizing a well is you uh, call someone to pull your AC pump you take it out and you throw it away you get a 12 volt DC pump and, and you put that down in the hole on the end of a spool of uh, plastic pipe polyethylene and then you get some solar panels and you get a special charge controller uh, so you don't need an inverter and you don't need batteries right so in the sun shining you pump water when the sun's not shining, you're not pumping water. And that tends to work. So there's a few things about that standard approach that didn't sit well with me. So for one thing, it's expensive, right? Solar pumps are a few grand. Uh, you got to pay for the driller to come out, pull your old pump. Um, and another thing was that, you know, a fair number of neighbors around here have reported having to replace their DC pumps every few years. You know, in 20 years, they've had four different solar pumps. Now, you know, maybe that's just they got unlucky, but I'd heard enough about, eh, these might not be as reliable as AC pumps, and you just don't hear about these AC pumps going out that much. Um, you know, one of my neighbors, his AC pump's been in there since the 70s, and it works fine. So, you know, it's kind of coming from if it, if it ain't broke, don't fix it kind of philosophy. So the system I came up with was 620 watt uh, solar panels that a neighbor gave to us because he was getting his system redone. Um, a 150 volt charge controller, three 12 volt 100 amp hour AGM batteries, and an AIMS modified sine wave, five kilowatt continuous, 10 kilowatt surge, 240 volt inverter. 
this inverter is key to the system. Most five kilowatt uh, inverters, uh, particularly 240 volt inverters are gonna be expensive, quite expensive, several thousand dollars. This inverter was $600. Why is that? Well, this inverter is like a, it's like a drag car. It does one thing and one thing only, all right? It takes 12 volts DC, it converts it into 240 volt AC, non-split phase, okay? So you can't pull off a leg and get 120 volts from this inverter. It's 240 volts only. Um, and it's a modified sine wave, uh, which basically means instead of a pure sine wave, which is what most people go for now for home inverter systems, it's a modified sine wave, you know, rectangles. <laughs> I'm not an electrical engineer. Uh, you don't really want to use a modified sine wave inverter if you're going to be powering sensitive electronics, uh, such as you'd have in a home. But pumps, from what I can tell, they don't really mind it so much. So, okay, uh, so this inverter will work and it's inexpensive. All right, let's get it. Let's build a system. So that's what we did. Uh, there's a bit of work involved. Originally, we had a shed for the generator uh, and it had a pitched roof on it but it was the roof was pitched facing west which we didn't want we wanted that facing more south so i jacked the uh the the shed up and i rotated it 90 degrees so that the roof faces south i also wanted the roof um on the shed <laughs> a few years back we had a a windstorm and it blew the roof it literally ripped the roof off of the shed and deposited it on a hill like a hundred yards away so I pulled that back down. I rebuilt the roof. I used screws this time instead of nails. I used a bunch of A35s. Uh, that shed should be going nowhere now. Um, I got some quarter brackets and some Unistrut. I mounted the solar panels on top of the shed. I built a door. I finished a bunch of stuff. So I had to get the shed going first, right? Uh, so I got all that figured out and then um, just installed the system. And I've got a timer on it. So the way it works is the pump that's down there pumps faster than the well can recharge, than the water table recharges. So uh, we, only, we can only pump about an hour at a time maximum before the water level uh, gets down to where the pump is and you don't wanna run the pump dry. So uh, I got a timer on it and the way I've got it set up is for the, for the pump to run twice a day at 30 minutes each and so the water the water level is never going to get close to the pump it's never going to run dry we're not risking that and also i size the batteries such that a 30 minute session takes down to about 70 70 75 percent depth of discharge rather than a 50 percent depth of discharge uh, and that's because if you're Discharging batteries every day to 50%, you're going to reduce the numbers of uh, cycles they have in their life. So having two half hour sessions, it's good for the pump and it's good for the batteries. This is a really fun project. Um, it was really gratifying to, at the end, know that the water we're drinking now is coming from energy that comes from the sun. And uh, it was a lot less expensive than if we had gone the default design you know if we hadn't really thought it through and we said oh yeah sure let's just uh you know call a driller get another pump we might have a less reliable system and have paid more money for it um so we'll see how it goes you know if uh, if anything breaks i'll update you um but that's what i did um yeah and if uh, you're interested in the diagram or anything like that hit me up i, I don't mind sharing uh, any of the resources or links or anything like that i don't do affiliate marketing so you know i don't have any links or anything but